But at the heart of it are similar questions, the decisions that a farmer has to make, right? What seed to do, what crop to plant, uh, factored by climate conditions, backed by potential commodity prices in the market, right? So it's similar decisions. It's just that uh, the scale or the, the, the unit size of problems here is probably smaller than what we see in the West. Um, or maybe the readiness to adopt new technologies may or may not be as, as high, uh, but similar problems and similar decisions. One global solution doesn't necessarily work for all of our countries and that's very much the case here in, in, in Asia Pacific. So what we're dedicated to is creating almost like a living organism that can be tailored and will continue to evolve with each of the countries. APAC, different countries, right? Each country has its own needs and the the way to actually solve that problem is to help them innovate for themselves, right? By creating the underlying platform, by creating the underlying uh, uh, accelerators that can then be used to adopt the solutions to the needs of specific country. Uh, and we believe digital technologies are a way for us to not only reach growers but build solid relationships with growers that we maybe couldn't reach through traditional forms like sales teams and, and boots on the ground. And I guess a good analogy would be like Lego blocks. Mm -hmm. um, or if we take a car analogy for those, those car buffs out there, we're designing the, the basic transportation that will get you from A to B. So we're designing right. the engine, we're giving you four wheels and maybe a chassis, right? Yeah. So to get you from A to B. And to be honest, if your country, if that's all you need, then that's fine. You're going to have a, a very relevant solution. But then we're saying, in the case of India, well, do you want a sunroof? Do you want some review <laughs> mirrors? Do you want to be able to really tailor this to what's important for your growers? Right. And I think that's where the power comes in. I think that the next few years will see a significant transformation in APAC, right? Uh, where some of the more developed markets went through incremental steps of evolution, what we will see for smallholders and APAC and India is one giant leapfrog. And I think we are sitting at the cusp of that leapfrog and that gives me tremendous amount of excitement. I think this unknown is the exciting part. You know, we're Absolutely. Together with our farmers. We don't know what the future holds. No one does. But if we can be there as part of that journey, you know, I think it sets us up well. We need to dream big, right? There is no reason for us to curtail our creativity. We need to make sure that, you know, we are thinking about 450 million smallholders in, in APAC. No room for small dreams. You know, dream big and let's make this transformation happen. <laughs>